Hi, I'm Stephen Reif, and I'm coming to you live from the Hub Culture Ice House Pavilion here in Davos. It's a brilliantly sunny day here. Um, you'll have to deal with some squinting from both of us. But I'm here with Case Arts, the CEO and co-founder of Protix. And uh, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you. So we're going to talk about you're involved in food and sustainability. Yes. So tell me a little bit about what is the latest technology? What is the innovation going on? in the food and kind of resource supply chain? Um, well, strangely enough, uh, we're using something that was already age old. It's the power of insects. Okay. And that the innovation that we've applied to that is to develop the technologies to produce it safely at scale. Okay. So over the last eight years, if we've been really focusing on devising the right technologies to grow insects on low quality feedstocks. Okay. And this way we have been able to produce a very low footprint ingredient for the livestock and aquaculture business. Okay. And that's the particular innovation. Okay. And it's driven from the, um, the idea to really lower the total footprint on marine resources okay. and land resources for the future of our food supply. Okay. And uh, if, if I can tell you a bit about and one example would be. Yeah, that'd be great. Is, um, you can imagine that if you eat fish, yeah. you're actually also eating marine ingredients because they catch fish to feed it to the fish. Mm -hmm. Now this obviously with an increasing demand will increase the pressure on the fish stocks in the ocean. Okay. And we've been able to produce an ingredient that can replace that. And okay. it's even better and more natural. Okay. So walk me through, you're talking about both livestock and plant-based. I know plant-based food, we've talked with the CEO of Impossible Foods earlier about um, you know, the plant-based burger. How, how does that coming into play with, with your work and your company? Well, I think uh, the, the total diversity on your plate needs yeah. to increase. So yeah. as a consumer, yeah. uh, there, there's no longer a distinction between the simple vegetarian and the carnivorous uh, consumer. Okay. Uh, consumers become more and more conscious of what they eat, where things come from, and is it actually healthy. Yeah. Now in the food system, things are not always as they seem. So there, there's a way of producing dairy very ineffectively, okay. and there's a way of producing dairy very effectively and very sustainably. Now, these nuances, I think, are important. And what is most important is, is that we diversify the total um, amount of offering to the consumer, ranging from vegan to vegetarian to analogs to alternatives to insects to eggs fed with chicken that are fed with insects to fish that are fed with insects instead of fish meal and so on and so on. In order for consumers to be able to choose yep. what they like, what they taste, uh, what is to their tasting mm -hmm. and what is sustainable. Okay, that makes sense. Switching gears a little bit, okay. we're in Davos, World Economic Forum. Yes. One of the hottest topics has been blockchain. Yes. <laughs> Artificial intelligence, I feel like I can't go 10 feet without hearing about blockchain or cryptocurrency. True. How is that impacting your work in the food supply chain? So foremost, um, we use a lot of software. Yeah. Um, some use it, uh, artificial intelligence, we use it, soft, we call it software. Yeah. We have a lot of automation, some, use, some call it robotics, we call it automation. Yeah. Uh, it depends also a little bit about uh, where you talk about it, uh, whether it's a, um, uh, a nice word to catch uh, the purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, what is interesting about uh, transparency yeah. is that consumers can make a more informed choice. And that's a very important driver okay. for sustainability in the food system. So whether that is done through blockchain or whether that's done through whatever you want to call it, yep. just linking where things come from, how it is produced, and what's actually inside what you eat in order to be healthy, mm. I think that's relevant. Uh, yeah. It's relevant for education, it's relevant for your purchasing decision, okay. and it's relevant to make the food system very sustainable. Okay, great. Well, yeah. thank you. We're out of time here, but thank okay. you again, Case, for coming out. Uh, we appreciate having you. Thank you. Thank you.